Navy NCIS documents show that Ashley Massaro was treated at Camp LSA in 2006 around when she was sexually assaulted. B.J. Bethel, formerly from Fox 19 Double Evix in Cincinnati and current SEScoops.com writer, posted documents from Navy NCIS that show that former WWE star Ashley Massaro was treated at Camp LSA in July 2006. This would be around the time when she said that she was sexually assaulted by someone who claimed to be a doctor while WWE was there for a tour of Kuwait. WWE previously claimed that they were never made aware that she was sexually assaulted. John Laurinaitis, through his attorney, said that top-level management did know but he denied that there was a cover-up. Per the documents, NCIS stated the following on the case being closed. To date, no subject, scene, or witnesses have been identified. The reported victim is deceased, and no prosecutorial venue exists within the NCISRU Corpus Christi, Texas area of responsibly. Bethel noted that a lieutenant physician's assistant who was interviewed as part of the investigation was not mentioned in the report he received after he sent a FOIA request to NCIS last month. This investigation is in addition to investigations conducted by the Army and the Air Force. Massaro committed suicide in 2019. The Tony, Ziva NCIS spin-off. Here's everything we know, so far. Stop us if you've heard this one before, but, a new NCIS spin-off is on the horizon. This one, however, will revolve around no less than, former very special agent, Tony Dinozo and Ziva David aka the iconic TV supercouple known as Hashtag Tiva. John McNamara, whose past TV credits include co-creating Profit, Fastlane and The Magicians, penned the new series premiere and will serve as showrunner. NCIS vets Michael Weatherly and Cote de Pablo, who will reprise their roles in the spin-off, said in a joint statement, We've been talking about this story for many years, and now with John McNamara at the helm, we are ready. The world of Tony and Ziva, and daughter Taylai, promises to be an action-packed roller coaster fueled by love, danger, tears and laughter. Added showrunner McNamara, I'm incredibly excited to step into the NCIS universe with Code and Michael, and thrilled to explore it from a few new angles. As NCIS Season 11 opened, it was revealed that at the start of the four-month time jump that ended Season 10, Dinozo had made tracks for Israel to find a disappeared Ziva. Eventually, he came to realize that Ziva was inflicting on herself a penance of sorts, for killing a childhood friend's half-brother, and other trespasses. As the hour closed, we found Tony and Ziva at a small airport, at night, with the former set to head back home. Alone. What will I tell people? He asked. That you were right, Ziva answered. That I have to start over. Before parting ways, Ziva started, Tony, you are so, handsome. Funny. Loved. They shared a long, warm kiss, after which Tony walked away, shaking his head. This is not easy, the hardest 180 of my life. Tears streamed down Ziva's cheeks, followed by a smile acknowledging a bittersweet affection, as Tony waved goodbye from the plane. Read full recap. And where did Tony and Ziva each leave off? Ziva was reported dead toward the end of season 13, killed in a bombing of the David family farmhouse in Israel. Tony understandably spiraled, to a degree that Gibbs sent him home. When Dinozo returned to work the next day, a pint-sized bombshell awaited him, introduced by Mossad director Orly Elbaz. Taylai, a daughter that Ziva had given birth to years prior, with Tony the only biological possibility, as dad. Tony in turn left Gibbs's team at the end of season 13, to go raise his and dearly departed, Ziva's daughter. I'm everything to that little girl now and I've never been anybody's everything before, he explained to Gibbs. You gotta do what you gotta do, Gibbs nodded, before delivering a rare hug. Dinozo said his next stop was Israel, to get some answers, and then a visit to the Paris that Ziva, loves, present tense, hmm. Fun fact. Weatherly and De Pablo watched that finale, send-off together. Three years later, De Pablo made a surprise appearance in the season 16 finale, when Ziva showed up in Gibbs' basement, saying, no time for pleasantries, you're in danger. When season 17 rolled around, it was revealed by a CIA operative named Odette that the late Eli David's files were never the target of the years-ago farmhouse explosion in Israel. Ziva was. 
Ziva suspected as much, and thus went deep undercover to, sift through evil in every form, and find the perpetrator. Now, Ziva explained to Gibbs, a woman named Sahar wanted her dead, and Gibbs was in the crosshairs, too. Ziva, Gibbs et al. quickly neutralized that threat, and Ziva departed again. Midway through season 17, she resurfaced to complete one final mission before she could reunite with Tony and Taylai in Paris, albeit off-camera. Tony recently resurfaced via a surprise cameo in NCIS, Ducky, David McCallum tribute episode, seemingly solo, though Ziva and or Taylai could have simply been off-screen, also ready to head to the funeral. What is this spin-off about as the Paramount Plus series opens? Tony and Ziva have been raising their daughter Taylai, together. But when Tony's security company is attacked, they must go on the run across Europe, trying to figure out who is after them, and maybe even learn to trust each other again, so that they can finally have their unconventional, happily ever after. Who has been cast in the Tony, Ziva spin-off? Well, Weatherly and De Pablo, of course, both of whom will also serve as executive producers on the spin-off. Other casting has yet to be announced, at this very early stage, though a tween-age Taylai surely will be cast, plus any support system, guy in the chair, that Tony and Ziva need. After exiting NCIS at the end of season 13, Weatherly went on to headline CBS Bull, which ran for six seasons. De Pablo, since her original NCIS exit, has co-starred in the Chilean miners' biopic The 33 and headlined the 2015 CBS miniseries The Dovekeepers. She then returned to NCIS for five total episodes, sprinkled between the season 16 finale and the first half of season 17. What is this spin-off's title? Though it is floating around out there that, NCIS, Europe, is at the very least a nickname for this new spin-off, TV line hears that is not the title. Showrunner John McNamara meanwhile is mum, teasing, if I told you what it is, I'd be violating the Espionage Act. Will the spin-off air on CBS? Though NCIS spin-offs such as NCIS, Los Angeles, NCIS, New Orleans, NCIS, Hawaii and the In the Works NCIS, Origins, Young Gibbs prequel series were ordered by CBS to air on CBS, the Tony, Ziva spin-off was greenlit by, and will stream on, the Paramount Plus streaming service. NCIS. Sydney was originally developed to premiere on Paramount Plus internationally, but when the dual Hollywood strikes found CBS in desperate need of fresh content for fall 2023, the franchise's first international offshoot was given a stateside home on the iNetwork this past fall. When will the Tony, Ziva spin-off premiere? You have been patient this far, hashtag Tiva fans. You can be patient a little longer. Production on the Tony, Ziva spin-off will begin, later this year, in Europe, says Paramount+. Plus. And though no episode count or release pattern has been announced yet, that timetable would point to a Latte 2024 premiere at soonest, but possibly not until 2025. TV Line will of course keep you posted. Will NCIS Season 21 set up this Tony, Ziva spin-off? Though NCIS, Los Angeles and NCIS, New Orleans both started with, planted, backdoor, pilots, episodes of the NCIS mothership, TV Line hears that NCIS, 10 episode season 21 currently airings Mondays at 9 C, will not similarly tee up the Tony, Ziva-centric offshoot. Besides, as the recaps of each character's exit above suggest, NCIS has pretty much already laid the foundation for the next chapter in Tony and Ziva's story.